So hi, this is Kevin, a CPA that does financial planning, and today we're going to talk about getting money into a Roth IRA. Why is it so important to get money into a Roth IRA? Well, the first uh, important reason is that you can get some tax diversification if you have money in deferred accounts, Roth IRAs, and then taxable accounts, so when you get to financial independence, you can choose which account to take it from. But the Roth IRA has a super good uh, property to it and that is that you are able to if you follow the rules of the Roth and they're somewhat complicated but if you follow the rules of the Roth you can take out money as well as growth tax-free and so in this video I want to talk to you about a new way to get money into a Roth IRA uh, some of the old ways the first way is if you make less than hundred and ninety three thousand dollars as a married filing jointly couple or you make less than hundred and sixteen thousand there are no phase outs and you can put money into a Roth IRA directly either 5500 for 2015 or if you're over 50 you get the super bonus of an extra thousand so $6,500 so that's the easiest way to get money in now for high income earners that's where it gets a lot more difficult so if you make more than 193,000 you probably probably have heard of something called the backdoor Roth which is a series of putting money into non-deductible accounts and then eventually switching it over to Roth IRA. And that's a terrific way to do it. Um, but there is a new way. An uh, IRS notice came out last year. Um, it was the IRS notice uh, 214-54. And so what this does is it allows people that have made after-tax contributions to 401ks be able to take that money when they leave the company and convert all that money into a Roth IRA. Okay, so the tax consequences of all this stuff, it can give you a tremendous headache. So you're better off really talking with someone uh, or reviewing uh, the data that shows how to do it. But in essence, if your 401k plan allows you to put after-tax money into a 401k, now I'm not talking about the two ways that most plans allow which is the first way to put traditional money into a 401k. It's just called a 401k. The second way is a Roth 401k. So again, many plans have a Roth 401k. I'm not talking about these. I know it's crazy. It gives you a headache. But the third way to put money into a 401k is an after-tax contribution. So you can put up to $28,000 into many 401k plans. And all you need to do is ask your 401k provider, can I put after-tax contributions in there? And if you can, let's talk about the impact of being able to put, again, if you're a high-income person, you've already maxed out the pre-tax, to put more money into the 401k every year. And when you take your money out of the 401k, you can move all the pre-tax money and the earnings to a traditional IRA, and then the rest of that money that you've put in there can all go to Roth. And once again, if you follow the rules of the Roth, you will never have to pay tax again. So I'm Kevin Gormley, a CPA that does financial planning. Knowing the rules of taxation is very important, um, but you don't have to learn them. We're happy to help. Thanks again for watching.